I made the mistake of visiting an old friend and his wife at their house for dinner. When it came time for me to leave, my car wouldn't start and it was 11 p.m. It was too late for it to get serviced. And my friend urged me to stay, but the only problem is they have no spare bed and they're very minimalistic, so they don't even have a sofa. So I had to sleep with my friend and his wife on their bed. As soon as my friend fell asleep, his wife tapped me on the shoulder and told me to come over to her. So I whispered, no, I can't do that. Your husband is my best friend. And then she said, listen here, there's nothing in the world right now that can wake him up. And I was skeptical. I was like, nah, I don't believe you. If we start doing things on this bed, he's definitely going to wake up. And she was like, no, he won't. If you don't believe me, pluck a hair out of his butt. I promise you he won't wake up. So me being curious, I did exactly that. I yanked it. And to my surprise, he was still asleep. So after that, I climbed over to the other side. And I'm not proud of what I did next, if you know what I mean. Now, when I finished, I climbed back over to the other side to fall asleep. And sure enough, it wasn't too long after she tapped me on my shoulder again. So before I went over to the other side, I yanked another hair just to see if he was still asleep. And he was. This went on about eight more times during the night. And every time before I went to the other side, I yanked another hair just to make sure. The ninth time I pulled his hair, my friend woke up. He kind of turned over to me and he said, Artie, I don't mind you screwing my wife, but stop using my ass as a scoreboard.